And so I went back into my room. And they knew I had a heart condition. They knew this. This is not new information. They knew it. They knew I had a heart condition. They knew, especially fucking Karis. She knew that I had a heart condition and she knew that I had previously had a heart attack the year before, like two, three years before that actually, in 2019, right? Because of that. Because I've been put in such an anxiety-ridden situation. So she knows I did not do voodoo on her. She doesn't care. She wants someone to blame. She does not care. And she knows that I didn't do anything to them, okay? They know that I didn't, I didn't sexually harass them. That's bullshit. They know that. They said that to protect themselves because they seem to think that I would have gone around telling everyone that they flashed me when they were drunk. And that they walked in on me changing three times in one moment. They walked out of the room when I was getting changed, came back in. They knew I was in a towel. Just I had taken off the towel and my body was like this with the towel around my shoulders. They spit like this, right? They knew that. They did not care. Okay? They knew that. They didn't care that I was in pain. They didn't care. They could see I was physically in pain. You could see me gasping for breath. They could see that I was gasping for breath. They didn't care. They were too busy getting their anger out. They didn't care about my health. Are you kidding me? And then I was just fucking sitting on the floor, just on the floor that entire time. I could feel my heart starting to give out. So I said, hey, I can feel like I'm getting close to a heart attack. And they said, and I quote, we don't give a fuck about your heart. We don't give a shit about your heart. They don't care. They're awful people. What kind of person claims to care about someone? What kind of person? And they actually fucking, they made me say this. They put me in a situation. C has been accusing me of sexual harassment for months despite the fact that they did that to me sent a police officer to my parents' house despite the fact that they did <laughs> that they, for a parent stalking even though I didn't even know where the fuck they were I haven't seen them in since the moment I left that fucking hostel honestly I, I hope they suffer for all of eternity I hope that when they go to their afterlife they suffer for all of eternity and see constantly telling me to call off King Asmodeus like I'm sorry you want me to call off an infernal king? You expect me to do this? Are you dumb? I can't call him off. He's a person. He he does his own he does what he wants. You don't tell an infernal king to back off. That's just stupid. Not to mention, you did one quick little Google search and you decided, oh no, he's a prince. Are you dumb? Then you wonder why you started hearing his music and why he started haunting you. Like, what the fuck were you expecting? Not to mention, you walked up to my parents' car. You know that was my abuser. You walked up and you told her that I sit in my room, not talking to anybody. When you know damn well I do that because I'm dissociating or because I'm depressed. Most of my time in that hostel was me being depressed and dissociated and not knowing what the fuck is real. And for fucking Sasha, you are a cunt. You hear me? You are a cunt. I hope you see this. I hope all three of you see this shit. You're a cunt. Both of you are assholes. All three of you are fuck fucking sick. You know that? Sasha, for all of your fucking trust, trust is important bullshit. All of your, we, despite the fact that we're not friends, we should still be able to trust each other. Like, what kind of bullshit is that? I literally told you I thought you were a hallucination. That is your fucking wake up call to think, hey, maybe she's not okay. Maybe they're not okay. Maybe, maybe I should tell someone. Maybe that was a cry for help. That was obviously a cry for help. You of all people have known me the longest out of all of these cunts. You of all people know exactly why I don't open up to people. You know the most out of all of them. So why were you surprised? So you give me a hug and you send me off into my room. Then you go off and tell C some shit that you, despite the fact that you know damn well that I'm not in the right headspace. Yeah, I said C's gay. I've been trying. I don't know why I said that.
okay? I wasn't mentally okay. You say weird shit when you're not mentally okay. Everyone knows that. But whatever. When the police officer came to my parents' house, I told them what y'all did. I didn't mention Sasha, obviously. Because it's not really, like, a person of interest. Because I feel like they would have arrested you. But I didn't do anything to any of you. And Karis accusing me of voodoo and we've had conversations of why it fucking terrifies me. On two occasions. How would I know how to do voodoo and how would just put in, put in your mannequin, which apparently has your proportionate whatever. How the fuck would I know how to do that? You just assumed I would know how. Because I'm African, which is fucking racist. You're a racist cunt. I don't know why you think it's okay to make such fucking claims towards me. I don't know why you think it's okay to fucking afterwards hug me after you traumatize me and both of you, Sasha and C, Karis and C, not Sasha, Sasha just ran her mouth. Karis and C, in accusing me of the sexual harassment and the voodoo and all this bullshit, like first of all, Karis, tarot cards hold what you want them to hold, you know this. You wanted, you wanted to blame me. And when you find out who actually did that to you. Because I had a fucking a vision of the person who did it to you. It was a man. How would I send someone towards you? You don't have that power. I barely knew how to do protection spells. I asked you for protection spells when I was a witch. Like, for fuck's sake, if I don't know how to do those, how do you think I'm going to know how to do fucking voodoo? You have to be initiated in voodoo, even if you are already born into it. You still have to be initiated. I don't know anyone to do that. And not only have you fucked up royally, because I have no doubt in my mind that the infernal king that C pissed off probably came after you too. Maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. Honestly, he's all about revenge, so... <clears throat> yeah. It's just stupid. It's stupid. Because you know damn well I would never do that to you. I literally told you to your face that I would kill for you. I would die for you. Of course I wouldn't do that anymore. Now I hope both of you suffer. I hope all three of you. I hope the, 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 I hope the consequences of your actions is doing exactly what you all did to me. I hope it comes one million times worse. I hope it hurts worse because you actually killed me. Harrison C, you caused me an actual heart attack. I was dead. That is why I stopped responding. And, and the fact that Harris, you tried to fucking make me speak too. After it's very obvious that I wasn't even in this plane of existence. You can see, you know the size of dissociation. You know what I look like. I took care of you out of the goodness of my heart. And you fucking turned this shit around on me. You tell C all this that I said, that grandmother, the spirit that following them that turned out to be their grandmother, that I said that that spirit must have had something to do with you, what happened to you. Well, I never said that. That was your bitch ass. And honestly, <laughs> C, Karis talks so much shit about you behind your back. And I only told you what she said about the spirit thing because I felt bad to be staying with you and keeping shit from you. See, I don't know why you two decided that I was the villain when you two were the one talking. Well, not even you. Because, see, you were a loyal friend to her. And she wasn't to you. And she called you toxic. She called you all of these motherfucking things. It doesn't even matter if you believe me because it's the truth at this point. And I, I just really wish... I wish neither of you ever existed in my life. Ever. I wish when you knocked on my door, I, I, I slammed it in your face. I wish, I wish you just never, ever spoke to me. I wish I stayed in my room for the rest of that time in that hostel, honestly. I wish you never existed in my life. And I really hope the consequences of your actions rips you inside out. I hope it brings you as much agony as you did to me. Because I spent three days unable to speak. And then you had the audacity to knock on my door and ask me for a fucking filter. After you killed me. And then you go around town. Now you're telling people that I'm spreading shit about you. And I have said nothing but the truth. I only admitted what you wanted to hear because I was dying. 
You literally caused me a heart attack. And I bet you don't even care. All of you are fucking heartless. You know that. Heartless. I literally, I've never known voodoo. And the fact that you accuse me of that simply because I'm African makes you a racist cunt. I've never known voodoo. I've never known anything African magic-y. Nothing, none of that. I was following white people in the magic scene when I was being, when I was doing witchcraft. Fuck. Like, motherfucker, are you not... It's like, what's not clicking in your stupid fucking brain? Obviously, you two are sick. You're obviously mentally ill. That's quite obvious. You do need to get some help, because I am. I have got help. <laughs> My issues were mostly just depression and anxiety and the five disorders I have. Yeah, okay, see, maybe you were, you were right about me being autistic. Cool, whatever. But I don't think a person as toxic as you can even say shit. Because I have never stalked you. Never stalked you in anything. And I just, I don't understand why you think I would. Because not only that, you gave my abuser ammo for six months. I fucking had to deal with you. All the shit that you said to them at the car. Because you couldn't keep your fucking mouth shut. So you can't call yourself. You can't call yourself an activist because you allowed Karis to say racist things to me and didn't intervene. Simply because you don't like me for whatever fucking reason that in your stupid Trump has brain. And you let Karis get into your head when she told you that I faked my trauma when I never fucking did. I told you everything about it. I told you more than I told her, actually, about my trauma. And you just fucking took that shit and ran with it, didn't you? <laughs> Honestly, because I wrote this shit down, dates and shit. And when you send that police officer to my house, I told them everything you did. I didn't mention Karis's name. I didn't mention Tasha's name. Not full name, anyway. I didn't mention Karis's full name. But I mentioned that both of you almost killed me. I, off I did mention that all of your allegations, which is bullshit, everything that you told the police officer, I told them. Oh, I can't keep, I can't find the fucking camera. Honestly, I, I fucking hate you. I hope you suffer for the longest motherfucking time for what you did to me. There is no word for how fucking twisted you are. For making something up when you know damn well I did nothing to you. Because of whatever. Self-preservation or whatever the fuck. And when people find out how much of a twisted little bitch you are. Your life is going to fall apart. Now I'm not going to know a little thing because I'm not interested and I don't care. But no matter what. If I get a message saying that you're talking shit from the few people that I still speak to that's how I know you saw this so you must be stalking me because I've blocked all three of you on everything so there is no way in hell <laughs> or anything else that I could possibly ever say you describe how deeply you hurt me. When my song Dissociation comes out, that's about how you people made me feel. I wrote that while I was in the dissociation you put me in. And drowning in my thoughts is also how I felt during that shit you put me in. But honestly, you're a shitty person. And I really hope you suffer for all eternity. I hope you suffer for the rest of your life. I don't want you to be have a shitty life like forever i just hope you suffer enough actually enough for you to understand the shit you put me through but you won't bounce back from it because i i've been through some shit and i just bounce back from it i fucking i'm out here every single day shaking off intrusive thoughts shaking off the urge to slit my throat shaking off all this shit you'll never know I don't know how strong you are, but maybe you're not that strong. I don't know. 
Oh, to God, this shit just opens your fucking eyes to see how twisted you are and how much you need help. All of you. Seriously, you need help. Your children at heart. How are you going to accuse some bullshit at your big age of 24? And you law accusing saying me at my big age. When you, you're 18 and 24 years old. Doing all this shit. When you know in your stupid, twisted fucking brains that I didn't do this shit to you. You know damn well. And when that comes out, that I did nothing to you. And when you realize that I did nothing to you, and when the real culprit of who did those things to you pops out and is obvious, you're going to regret everything you did. You literally caused me a heart attack directly in front of you. And when I stopped responding, that is because I was dead. Literally dead. I just barely came back into my body. Okay. Now, in conclusion, you're all cunts. And while I do hope you suffer for a long fucking time, because I suffered for six months, not even six, nearly to the end of the year, okay? Right up to December, I suffered. Right up to January, I suffered. January is when I finally kicked the shit off me. Just fucking dusted myself off and thought, you know what? These bitches ain't got nothing on me. Because you don't. Simply because you, you decided that I am the, the most gullible person. And I used to be, but I'm not anymore. And so I'm the easiest to manipulate. But honestly, you sure both are. You're very easy to manipulate. I've never manipulated you personally. But you've been manipulated by people around you. And honestly, Tara, so many people have told me that you don't have the balls to put your foot down. Even you have said that. And I bet you haven't even put your foot down even now. All the conversations we have had about you putting your foot down, if you can't do it even now into the new fucking year, you're never going to do it. You're going to be stuck in the same place. At least try. Because the way we discussed... Me cutting off every single person in the hostel, right? I did that. Did you? I bet you didn't. Because like my friend says, you, <laughs> you, you don't have the balls, you don't have the stones stand up for yourself how many times have i tried to talk you into standing up for yourself how many times have we tried to talk each other into standing up for ourselves how many times have you said i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that i'm not gonna let them step step in my room with their fucking shoes and you did i'm not gonna let them use me so i w so i get in trouble again and you did every time you just can't when your friends are around, you're just a people pleaser. And you're, I don't think you're ever going to get out of that if you don't put your foot down yourself. You have to do it yourself. I had to learn. Honestly, you are the person that I had the hardest time saying no to in the entire hostel. Because I fucking loved you that much. You were like a sister to me. I never had a crush on either of you. On C. I never had a crush on C. I have one on Sasha before we became friends. But you, not really. I wouldn't say it was a crush, it was more of an infatuation. But now I see the people that all three of you are. You're all just as bad as all the people you slag off. But when my music comes out, and I am much more successful than I am right now, my life will be so much better. And I really hope your lives get better. But a small part of me hopes you suffer for a long time fucking time for what you did to me because you literally killed me evidence be damned you killed me regardless you killed me because i have that shit written down with dates and shit and i've already recorded it so i don't see the point of recording it again because if i see anything <laughs> my darling best friend see this is not about you this is about the bitch i told you about the other one. 
But to any of my real friends that see this, thank you for watching this long. And I just need to get the shit out of my chest because I'm, I feel like I'm still holding on to a part of it. But yeah. One more thing. See, you can't ever call yourself an activist. You can never, ever call yourself, take that BLM shit out of your bio because you do not give a shit. I am a BLM person. I am a black person. But you allowed to suffer because you don't like me. You allowed a racist to go off at me because you don't like me. So you're not a real activist. And you can't ever say that you advocate against abuse because you allowed. You fucking gave mine ammo. So you can't ever say that ever again. Let me just reiterate. To all my real friends, to my best friend, see that is the best person. So To hopefully my new friend Lena and to all of my other friends online and offline that give a fuck about me. I love y'all so fucking much. I am so grateful for your support. I just need to get the shit out. It's gonna sound a bit jumbled because I also have ADHD <laughs> as well as autism. And part of me, three other ones. Two of them are undiagnosed, but even the doctor I went to see my AD about my ADHD said that. I definitely have autism because they also deal with autism there. I really need to just email them about that. But my gosh, it feels so good to get that off my chest. Yeah, stay tuned for other shit. I just need to get that shit out. Thank you. Peace out.